Hi, welcome to a brief tutorial on the efficient methods of file transfer to and from a Nexus switch. My name is William Brown and I am a Nexus data center route switch engineer at Cisco. To begin, here is an overview of the file transfer protocols available to us on a Nexus switch. TFTP and FTP should be enabled by default, whereas SFTP and SCP have feature-based components to them. For the purpose of this video, we will be utilizing SFTP to move a file from a remote server to a Nexus switch. Before beginning the demonstration, a review of Control Plane Policing, or COP, on the Nexus platform will help us understand why one transfer method may be faster than another. Control Plane Policing protects the control plane and separates it from the data plane, which ensures network stability, reachability, and packet delivery. In our demo today, one method will use the data plane and will be subject to COP. The other method will use the management plane via management zero and will not be impacted by COP on the switch. Next, let's have a look at the topology that we will be using. As you can see, we have a server and a Nexus switch directly connected by both Ethernet 1 slash 1 and their management interfaces. We will perform a file transfer using first the Ethernet 1 slash 1 ports then the management zero ports and observe the difference in file transfer speeds. First, we will clear all COP statistics on the switch. This will give us a clean baseline when we compare the stats after the file transfer. With the statistics cleared, we can now enter the transfer parameters. This can either be done via a single line configuration or using the prompts. The prompts will be used in this example. Specifying the default VRF, we can ensure that our traffic will use the data plane and thus have the potential to be impacted by COP. At the conclusion of the file transfer, we can see that the approximate transfer time was seven minutes to move the file from the server to the Nexus switch. Now we can check the control plane statistics for the specific class where SFTP traffic is policed. As you can see here, SFTP is in the management class. And in the management class, we're observing approximately 900 drops during the file transfer. Now, let's perform the same file transfer using the management zero port and observe the file transfer time and behavior. Before initiating the file transfer, we will again clear the COP statistics to give us a clean baseline. We will again enter the prompt. And this time, instead of specifying default VRF, we will specify management VRF and the IP address of the management zero interface. We'll enter our username credentials and password, and the file transfer should begin. At the conclusion of the transfer, we can see it took a total of one minute and five seconds, which was much faster than the data plane transfer that we previously ran. We can again check the COP statistics to look for any drops in the management class related to this transfer. As you can see, we have zero drops, which indicates that this traffic was not rate limited by the control plane policing policy due to it arriving via the management zero interface. In conclusion, transfers via the data plane have the potential to be rate limited by COP and can lead to slower transfer speeds. Transfers via the management interface or management plane do not have this same limitation.